Hi, it's Liz Sneddon. Let's have a look at some data collection methods when we're talking about primary data. So the first thing we want to just clarify is what the difference between primary and secondary data is. So primary data is when you collect it yourself. So you're the one that thinks about how you're going to collect it. You're going to physically do the collecting yourself. Secondary data is the data that somebody else has collected. So if I get data from a spreadsheet that somebody else has made or um, off the web or a, anything like that, those are all secondary data. So I didn't collect the data myself. I might just be scraping the data, but I haven't collected it myself. So that's our key idea. So here's an example, as so I've got an example here of the World Health Organization's website and on their website they've got data about COVID cases in different countries. Now this data here is secondary data because it's from the website. I've just copied the data from the website but I didn't physically go and count the number of COVID cases myself. So that was done by other people, so that's why it's secondary data. So when we're collecting primary data, here's a few things we want to think about. One method we can use is doing a questionnaire. So we can do a pen and paper method, we can do an online method, or we can use the phone method. Um, so often with these ones we've got the questions all written out beforehand. So we've checked the wording, we've checked the order of the questions, and often we'll use Microsoft Forms or Google Forms, those are quite common programs that our Konga would use at school. Another one is interviews, so that's another method. And so interviews typically are face to face. They're quite common ones, but those ones take obviously a lot longer to collect the data um, from a lot less people um, in that same period of time. But you can get much richer data from the interviews. We can also collect data by observation. So we can observe objects, behavior, events, all of those kind of things. And then just record the data based on that observation. Another one is records. So I can um, collect data from records such as websites. So I could collect data from a countdown website, from the trade me website, um, those kind of things. Um, I can also collect images, so information and data from images, videos, music, and so on. There's a lot of data that we can go and collect from those sources. Thanks very much for watching.